Today I'm painting a cow. It's a very close up of the nose. And it's kind of, it's obvious, I mean it's a wide angle lens, the photography, so it kind of distorts the body of the cow. Um, so it makes the nose really big, more big than it, you know, bigger than it would be when you would be actually looking at it in real life. <laughs> don't like what you did, you just take it off. <laughs> it looks better before. But I don't know until I try. What I'm doing um, when I paint these areas, it, it's like sometimes like they'll be like, it'll look like there's a really sharp edge here and so it'd be better if it'd be more blended. So what I do is like I look at it's almost like matching the values of the different sides but finding the middle value so they call that a half tone um, which is the technical name of it but you match the half tones and I match the half tones of, of the value also with the color. It's kind of complicated to explain but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> The real trick with what I do is to make it look like I just did it in one pass. Like, I just did it real quick, I painted it, and no one knew that I maybe labored over this area for a while to make it look like I didn't try. Because <laughs> if it looks like I tried too much, well, then it doesn't look as good. There's something about it, so... <laughs> it's kind of crazy how painting's like that, but it is. Here is my painting palette after I've finished painting. I make a mess because painting doesn't need to be nice and neat. It's just about making something cool. <laughs> 